Three wise guys. St. John the Philosopher here. The Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. The concept is that a friend that can contend with you, you know, iron and iron and all that, is someone with whom you can work out life. Through conversation and shared experiences, you help each other to become your best selves. So in that vein, we're doing something a little different in this video. A round table with two of my good friends, associate pastor of my home church, John Michael Brown, and radio personality with FM News Talk 97.1 in St. Louis, Tony Colombo. In part one of our conversation, we discuss President Trump, immigration, race, and more. You know, small talk. All right, so, you know, today is Martin Luther King Day, and, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it just so happens that our, our illustrious president has put his foot in his mouth again, um, talking about uh, the... He likes the taste, the, I don't know. <laughs> 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 the, I, I'll clean it up here for my audience, the crap hole countries, and how we yes. don't need people from any of the crap hole countries. And, uh, and of course, he's been called a racist for this, because, you know, he's, he's racist for everything mm, he right. says and does. Um, um, so, so what are you know? What are our thoughts on that, John Michael? You you go first. What do you what do you think? Well, about I mean, that? I think when you're when somebody says something, um, just because they say something outlandish or bad doesn't qualify it as racist, mm -hmm. in the sense that um, you're talking about uh, other countries. I mean, I don't know, and I don't know if any of us know specifically which which all countries he was referring to. Um, he wasn't referring to um, a certain a race of people if he's referring to certain countries so yeah. again that's not racist it's stupid and and maybe uh, bigotous uh, but not necessarily racist and so right. if you try to turn everything that someone says into racist then well what is racist yeah we got to define it right? you, know, you, do, you have to define racist well racist comes from race <laughs> and race is solely skin color Mm. Which is is Just why, about, yeah. which is why the the idea is, is many many African Americans negate the term themselves when they tell some other person of the same race, <laughs> well, you're not really black because <laughs> you you don't right. talk this way or you don't experience these things, so or you don't agree with my opinion. Yeah, you don't agree yeah. with my opinions. You're not really black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get well, that all the time. <laughs> that you're not really black. black. <laughs> Tony, what do you what do you think about <laughs> what do you think about this? Since you have a uh, as as we discussed on the radio, a a, a black man's soul. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. I was told that. I was told that once. Um, it's a story for a different day. Yeah. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say uh, I, I want to say allegedly because yes. of course the president and some people that were in the room say he didn't use. That the exactly. asshole uh, terminology. Exactly. Uh, but yeah. even if he didn't say asshole, uh, we know how the president talks. Yeah. And we know that if he didn't say that, he probably said something close to it, and he probably did say something that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Oh, in for it. sure. He's he's a New Yorker. So here's. I grew up in New York. I know this. <laughs> <laughs> so so here's 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 where he gets in to the most uh, where he has the most problems. I think. What he's saying, mm -hmm. if you get past all of the uh, labeling and name calling and uh, uh, the delivery of it, what he is saying is, why do we need to take more and more people here that don't do anything for our society? Right. Why not? Why don't we go get the best of the best from every country mm -hmm. instead of just opening our doors and floodgate and let all these people come in uh, that? Uh, potentially will be a drudge on society instead of a... So his point is a good one, and I think one that most people would agree with. This president, though, has a um, has an unbelievable <laughs> way of stealing defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> right. Because he, again, he he makes a good point, I think. Mm -hmm. He makes a, a, a point that's hard to argue with, but people don't have to argue with his point right. because of the way he speaks. Yeah, the way he made right. his point. And now, now you don't have to worry about talking about the issue. It's now it's just right. Trump. Trump yeah, is Yeah, because they don't want to talk about the thing. issue. Right. Because he's usually, a lot of times, he's, he's right. Close. He's he, right on the issue. Yeah. But he's wrong in his delivery. Yeah. 
One of the things I, I think about, you know, I was just recently in a uh, cultural competence training uh, for educators, and one of the, the issues was we were talking about, you know, the historical uh, racism and, and issues in America, but they started talking about Ellis Island. Mm -hmm. And the idea is the people that had to go through Ellis Island were, were basically people in second class and below. Uh, ultimately, they, you know, these are the poor people coming in because the wealthy people coming in, you know, they get dropped off at the front door. <laughs> right. Uh, but everybody else has to go through Ellis Island. So then. And then get I'm their just, name Anglicanized too. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm thinking about this and I'm going, if, if you have it good in your country, why would you come to America? The bottom line is, is that <laughs> in every true. country, there's an upper class and there's a lower class, mm. right? Yeah, and and that, that upper class may be smaller mm -hmm. in certain countries and the lower class broader. But, but we're talking about people that are trying to get to America a lot of times are people who don't have it well. Right. Uh, years ago, I was, I was uh, in Mexico uh, building a house for, for a, a poor family with, on a mission trip. And the, the, the father of the house... Actually, you know, we got to converse in a little bit with what little English he could say and what, what little Spanish that, that I could use. And, and he said he comes to America, uh, you know, and he comes to America to work. And I, I just kind of asked nonchalantly, so you have a work visa? And, he, you know, all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. it became awkward <laughs> right? because the bottom line yeah. was he was, that's he not, was that's coming into Let's the not United get into detail. <laughs> but <come on. laughs> but like, he was coming into the United States so that he could make money to send back to his family. Yes. Yeah. What yeah. would you do? Yeah. Right. What would you do? Oh, clearly. right. So the bottom clearly. line is, is that these people are coming to America to to some of them are coming to make money for their family. Some of them don't even mm -hmm. want to come to America. Yeah. Right. They just want to to make money in America because there's money to be made. That's where it is. And <laughs> here's here's something for everybody to remember. Yeah, please. Especially for the people that uh, uh, get so angry at conservatives or whoever that want to have some sort of bur of border control and you'll hear uh, comedians make jokes about how other countries are so much better uh, because they don't have to live with Donald Trump uh, and, and our laws are so unfair and we're so unjust and so racist. Mm -hmm. If all that were true why would so many people be trying to they're get not, in? Yeah. They're not, yeah, they're, they're if not, this was such a terrible place to be, if yeah, this was not. such a horrible, racist, oh my gosh. bigoted... They're going to put y'all back yeah, in chains yeah. out here, man. Why is everybody rushing to be here? Yeah, why are we... So why? Let's, let's all look around yeah. a little bit and realize that, of course, <clears throat> there's problems in society that need to be addressed. Oh, yeah. But to the, the, the way the media... And I'm in the media. We're yeah. at the radio station right now. We're at yes. uh, 97.1. Is our, one of our microphones. <laughs> See, we're out here. We're we're here. And we're 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 in the media right now. Yes. We're nope. at the. If Number you ever one. look for the media, we you found it. Yes. We're at the media. Number one um, talk in St. Louis area. Thank you. So yes. Um, but uh, the media will paint this 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 picture of racial tension. Of, 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 of bigoted. Oh, um, we're on the verge of, of a race war, according to the media. You yeah, know, we're, it's 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 all it's going to be all out. You know, we're we're going to be on opposite sides. It's going to be civil war all <laughs> over again. And you know, it's like brother against brother. It's it's, a, it's a, the failure of society. No, it it's yeah, it's <laughs> not as bad. It's not as bad as, as all that. that. As no. the media will paint the picture, um, or the, uh, uh, the 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 party not in power because mm -hmm. Republicans will do it as soon as oh, they're gosh. not in power. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just, yeah. you know, it's the Democrats game. are the ones doing it now because they're the ones not in power. So they have to cry out oh, that yeah. there's so much <laughs> wrong yes. with America. There's so America much. America is crumbling. Yeah, there's so much <laughs> unjustness. It's so unfair. And, and, you know, and there's all these terrible things. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? It's it, not. It's, it's not. It's, it's still. Not it's still. It's. There's a reason why all these people are trying to get in the country. It's still so America. It's not as bad. I, it's as still America. I don't understand how lifelong politicians can even blame anyone else. Whether, right. yeah. whether you, you're, you're Republican or years. Democrat, <laughs> you've been in politics for 50 years, yeah. and you're still complaining about the state of thing that the things are. How do you do that? You know, How do you do was, that when you're the person responsible for changing the way things are? Yeah, I was talking with uh, a sibling of mine about that very thing. That you know, how can you say if, you know you live in a state or you live in a city that's been controlled by the same party mm. and and they're they're all black? <laughs> you know, the, you got a black mayor and a, and a black uh, district attorney and and a, and a, and mostly black uh, legislature. You know, state legislature or what, or what have you, city board. All of those things. All of these 
black Democrats who are supposedly on your side and they've been in control for 50 and 60 years. Mm -hmm. So why is it still a <laughs> right. hole? And why, is it still be, and <laughs> you why are you still being held back by the other side? Right, right. If where you are, where if is you their live, power? If you live in a place that is uh, going downhill or has been mm -hmm. uh, in, in bad shape, like Gabe says, for decades, Forever. and there's always been one group in charge, maybe it's time maybe it's that to group. give another <laughs> group a shot. And that's Republican, Democrat, whatever, it doesn't matter. Right. If somebody's been in charge for a really long time and, and things up. aren't getting better, maybe make a change. <laughs> that, that, that brings, the, you mentioned the cities. Yeah. You know, how oh, many yeah. people, mm -hmm. regardless, are trying to get out of the city? They're trying yeah. to get out of the city. Yeah, trying to move to the, the suburbs. Same, they're trying to move to the suburbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are they? Is everyone that's trying to move out racist? Because when the whites with money moved out, they're racist. But right. what about when the blacks with money? <laughs> aren't they all trying to get oh, out? Yeah. And then I go back to to Trump. Whatever he said about some of these countries, mm -hmm. okay. Right. Well, let's get a list of the countries he said. Right. And everybody that's upset with what he said. Which one of those countries would you like to pack your bags and move to and, and, move right to now, right. and build a house and spend the rest of your days there? Right. Yeah, because right. I mean, so so Trump. So Trump. What we don't like is that Trump says things that that people feel, and because yeah. because no one can touch. I mean, when you have that much money, who cares? <laughs> yeah, you can say no whatever you want. What are you gonna right. do? You know what are you gonna do? I mean, he can buy it's, it's his like own being, country. It's like being an old man. You've earned the cred to just just, he gets to say what he wants say what to say. And I'm not saying yeah. that I don't know what he said about what country because yeah, I, I see so. an inherent uh, uh, inherent value in in all people. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, where do you want to move? Okay, right. do you want to move dead smack in the middle of one of these urban centers? Mm -hmm. You know, not at all. I, I mean, who wants? Do you want the so so in a way by our. We're being hypocritical. Yes. Yeah. Clearly. Well, he said this country's a, a whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're not trying to move there, if you don't want to live there, and you can understand and, why people would want to escape, if, there. and you're understanding <laughs> why people are trying to go from there to here, mm -hmm. you've basically validated his assessment. Maybe not his verbiage, mm -hmm. but right. his assessment of those mm -hmm. other countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very true. Is let me ask. Two black guys. Mm -hmm. Is is our president racist? I don't think so. Is he a racist? I don't think so. He he reminds me of people from uh, New York that I've I've come across. Now they're they're blunt. They, um, you know, another New York would say, well, they say things like it is. You know, <laughs> they just they just say, you know. But really, what they're what they're doing is they they their filter is a lot. <laughs> more muted mm -hmm. <laughs> than than the rest of the country. So so they say things without consideration to your feelings, how you're going to take it. But th they're not they're not He's saying an equal it to opportunity. Me. Oh my gosh! It, you know, name look. caller. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know one, one of the most equal interesting. Equal opportunity, a hole. <laughs> yeah, so Those exactly. are s holes. He's yeah, an a hole. Exactly. So he knows he knows, he knows an he a hole knows. because he's an he's a hole. An a -hole. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But, but an but, a hole, but not a racist. Yeah. Not a racist. And I, I think I think the thing is he, he I will say he's a classist. That that he okay. he has he has predispositions towards um, giving more credence to people of a certain class. Now uh, one of the things that I, I, I want to point out is that you know he <clears throat> at some point you know there was a comparison being made between Haiti or, or maybe African countries and and he said a place like Norway. Now earlier in the day I think he'd had a he was in discussions with. The, a leader from Norway, so it was top of mind. So he had him in. A, yeah. So so it's you know there's there's this, you know, he just kind of made the comparison quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, if if we were talking about maybe um, people from uh, uh, former Eastern Bloc uh, countries, you know, like your your uh, your 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 former Russian, yeah, uh, you know, that aren't old doing Soviet so. Soviet Union, the yeah. old Soviet Union nations that aren't doing so well right now. Yeah. he'd he'd probably say the same thing. Right. Why have people from there? Instead of Norway, right, and then it wouldn't have been an issue because it's, well, those are two white countries. So yeah, and again, he, he screws himself up by 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 labeling people from the country when when his point is, if you listen to what his point is, it's not about the country they're coming from. Right, it's the merit of the people coming. Right, we it, want the best and brightest from any country right. to come over here that can be a, a that can have a positive influence on society exactly instead of just an open door policy to anybody to, to it, whatever, which yeah. is <laughs> what most countries have yeah most countries have a merit -based most system. countries will not let you just anybody <laughs> walk in anytime no, they want that's one of the things they were talking about at ellis island i mean they, mm -hmm. they had a screening process of whether or not 
and one of those those aspects was intelligence. Mm, now right. the 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 way that they quantified intelligence and the tests that they used were wrong, and therefore, you know, it, but at the same time, they looked and said, you're not very smart, so we don't want you in our country. So, you know, yeah. we've been doing that. Uh, the, the the nation has been doing that, but humanity has been doing oh, that. Oh, that's gosh. really what we're Everywhere. saying. Yeah. No, everybody. You know, does no this. country wants the riffraff from some other country. <laughs> right, Nobody right, does. Right. Right. Uh, although we claim that you know in America, you know, send us whoever. But I'm, I'm taken back to uh, remembering, you know, being younger in the African American uh, church, and we didn't really talk about overseas missions mm. because there right. was always this issue. We have, we we have enough poor people in need here in the United right. States. Yeah. Our own people are poor here in the United States. We need help right. here. So right. weren't we weren't we making the same point that Trump is making now? Because just in a different way. We don't want yeah. more people that we have to you know, to take care of, come into our yeah. country. And let's because help we have our enough. people first. Let's help yeah. our people first. Right. And so he's just, he's just pro-American. And, and in, in the African-American church, we were just pro-African-American. We right. just care about African-American, Amer you know, people here yeah. more so than why do I need to send money over to some other country? Why do I need to send when we've got people in need right here? So mm -hmm. we're saying take care of our own. Right. We just say it in a more tactful way than Trump. We... I think most of the country says pretty much everything in a more tactful yeah, way yeah. than Donald Trump does. No, that's his, and that's where he gets in the most. That's when he gets himself in the most trouble. Was with the language he uses, not in my opinion, and I think most people would agree, especially if they would listen to it. Not the point he's making. Right. It's the way he, he does it.